want to get you out of here on this one today. The breaking news, uh, there is a new candidate in the race. 40-year-old Evan McMullen, chief policy director for the House Republican Conference, also uh, having worked once for the CIA, reportedly has the backing now, some big money contributors, again, entering the race as an independent. What do you make of it all? I think you're going to get more votes than he is. Um, I don't think this is somebody who has a terribly serious uh, candidacy. I've covered the House for seven, uh, the House of Representatives for seven years, and uh, this is a guy who's not really known for being a heavyweight on Capitol Hill. Uh, it's kind of late in the game. It's the beginning of August, so if he cracks a half a percent, I will. Uh, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, and I also just think this just shows again the kind of unhappiness that the kind of donor class, the political elite class, has with the two choices that they have right now for uh, the top of the ticket. Is this is this then really a, more a shot? across the bow? Is this a message being sent to the campaign? Yeah, I just think people are frustrated. They don't know how to how to handle it. I think that... This is an outlet for their frustration. <laughs> yeah, Republicans are in a box. A lot of these right. people are in a box and they're just trying to figure out some way to vote for someone that's not Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. So this guy who's a, a, a mid-level, low to mid-level congressional staffer. staffer has decided to run. There are uh, about... 8,000 people literally on Capitol Hill <laughs> who are just like him who could have run and probably got a similar number of votes. Well, every presidential journey begins with a single step, and Evan <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. has <laughs> taken his first today. Anna Palmer, Jake Sherman, uh, we very much appreciate the time of you both today. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much.